Here goes attempt number two at a danger zone video. Miss. This is a flat out remake of Burnout 3's Crash Mode. And I say this is attempt number two because it had a horrible freezing issue that I've managed to fix uh, finally. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just do the video again because the issue was on my side. But interestingly enough, I'm not going to be as positive during this one because I was very, very excited to play this game. And then I played this game and I went, ah, oh, it's not great. So, for those of you who don't know, Burnout 3, back in the year 4, had a crash mode where exactly this happened. Literally exactly the same. I mean, you had crash breakers, now they're called smash breakers. That's the level of copying someone else's homework that we got going on here. Although, technically not copying someone else's homework. Because previously this was made by Criterion, and Criterion EA et and stamped upon and weed on. Uh, so Criterion, the bits of them are left have become Three Fields Entertainment, I think they're called, and they've made this. So technically it's a Burnout 3 Crash Mode remake made by the Burnout 3 Crash Mode creators in the first place. I mean, their last game they did was Dangerous Golf, which was like a weird golfing attempt at making Burnout 3's Crash Mode. They're very obsessed with Burnout 3's Crash Mode, and they're desperately trying to remake it. Unfortunately... They've missed some... They've done some weird stuff with it that I'm really not super keen on. And we'll go through it all now. Um, yeah, you get your score and then the higher... The more you crash, the higher you score, get the next level. It's a puzzle game where you work out how best to crash. This genuinely is it. It's genuine. That's it. That's the issue. My first issue is the one that's quite obvious on the screen right now. The game has this kind of industrial look thing going on. And it has a very low ceiling, and I feel very restricted and closed in. If you go off the world, instead of falling down a mountain and going, Oh shit, watching your car go down a mountain, you just, like, dissolve. You don't actually get anything from it. Uh, also, these introductiony bits are absolutely essential, because unlike in the other one where you actually were outside, you're in these things and you can see the cars spawning from these blue gates. So you can't actually see what cars are upcoming. You have to sit through that to work out how to actually do the level, which is fucking infuriating. Why not just have the disc? You know, it doesn't matter. Does matter. Fuck it. There's only one car. I can't find any evidence of there being another car in this game. So there's one car. Unlike in the other world where you could drive fucking majillions. You can have a fucking fire truck doing this shit in the original Burnout 3. The other biggest omission, which you probably uh, haven't quite clocked onto yet because of the way I do my videos, if there's copyrighted music, normally I mute it because I have to. That's a great camera angle for you. Unfortunately, there's no copyrighted music in this. Why is there no music playing? Because there's no fucking music in the game. It's silent. There's not a, there's not even a theme song. There's not even an industrial do 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 do. Like in the under, there's just no music, just nothing, just absolute fucking silence. Look, like nothing. There's literally there's no noise other than car and explosions. And then maybe go yeah, I've seen some people go, oh, it's a very bare bones approach, and that's a good thing. I'm like, it's bare bones, but it's like we've had this before, and it was. Way better! It was way better. This bare bones approach to something that we already had a better version of doesn't work. That's not really. Like, we've already had the unbare bones version, which has, you know, sound. Remember sound? <laughs> had music, it had fucking Yellow Card and Avril Lavigne and wondrous things. All my. I mean, remember that Burnout 3 actually was in my top. Hell, Burnout, there's two Burnout games in my top 100 games. We had Burnout Paradise at 93 and Burnout 3 at 25. This is a series that I absolutely love. And I feel like this is just a... worse version of. And it's only it's a worse version of a small section of it because in Burnout, when you're going through the career mode, these were optional things. You had the crash modes within all the other bits. Like, you had the racing and that sort of thing. So you were actually earning your medals and you're actually progressing, unlocking new cars and that sort of thing. By playing this mode. So this mode actually tied into a bigger game thing now. It's kind of like taking one mini game out of something else and making it into a big thing. Like it's... has any? Can I think of any examples of anybody doing that? Gwent! But they put effort into making that an actual game and expanded upon it. Like imagine if they took Gwent out and made it into a much simpler card game with no music. Like <laughs> and one character. Like that's kind of how this feels to me. Got a gold medal there, don't know how. Just blew up all the cars. 
It, it just, I'm so disappointed because I was so excited for it. It kind of came out, I came out of nowhere. I thought it was like months and months away. And I was like, wow, they developed that fast. And I played it, it was like, oh no, wait, that's why. So yeah, no cars, no possibility of throwing fire trucks into people. This is as far as I got in the video before I gave up on the stuttering. So this level, you're actually kind of going with stuff. Gently nudge that and then try and get crashed. Now I missed the crash breakers. And now I'm just going to slowly dissolve. It just ends. It just ends and you don't get any points. You have to stay on there. So even if you do loads of destruction and then flew yourself down the cliff, you'd still get the points in the other one. In this, nope. You have to stay on. So if you get round off, oh well. Try again. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. It's really disappointing as well. This is one of those games I was like, so fucking pumped for! And then just fucking nothing. Got it. I think I tapped the crash breaker that time. Yeah, I did. Wee. Because you get a crash breaker. Sorry, smash breaker. For doing... Uh, for hitting five things. That varies per level. You also get one for picking up those little uh, yellow object things. And that just lets you fling yourself around the map a little bit more. I mean, it's so it's so close to the old version that I literally... My brain just went into that like autopilot. I know how to play this sort of thing. It just gave it back to me. Oh, here comes some cars crashing. Crash, 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 crash. I like all the cars down there that don't dissolve. I'm the only one who dissolves because I'm real. Hang on, they're the virtual things and I'm the real thing. Oh, maybe we're all virtual things. Well, what's the point in crashing it? I don't know. And then you get this really slow, have a look around and then whatever. Don't know if you get a bonus for knocking things off or not, but whatever. Then there's your global rank. Oh, look, I'm slightly below Gigabomb and above Bish. Wonderful. Next level. All right, so these are ones that I haven't seen yet. Let's see if some of these can capture the magic. I really hate those low ceilings. See, look, you get ramps in levels, and you've got a ramp and that kind of ceiling there, and I'm like, oh, okay. So we have traffic going that way. And then... A little bit of traffic that goes that way, so we have to blow them up, jump back, explode some things. Oh, these things form in, so they're all over on that side, but that's fine, because the traffic's going to hit me and I'll go that way. And then anything else? I hate seeing through these. In the old crash mode, you just fling yourself around and then the big ones you didn't even know how to get to. Like, how do I get there? In this, I kind of just feel like I have to sit. Sit through that thing. Otherwise, I won't know where they come from because you, you don't have distance. And got view. You also don't have an up down on the controls. There's no camera control at this point at all. Now, Smash Break is in 10 this time. Way Front of the truck. There we go. Nice. Where's that smash breaker? See now, when I'm but when I'm wrecking, I get a little bit of control. I get left and right on the old camera. No up down, but of course there is no real up to look at. And that's the last one. All right, come at me. Actually, I'm gonna fling myself at you. So every one I touch, I get multipliers and stuff like that for ding, bing, and that's kind of where I stop there, upside down on this car. Oh, I may roll off gently. Nice. Yeah. Just a bit dry, really. Again! Again, it's the exact same problem. Exact same problem that I had with Dangerous Golf. It just feels a bit dry. At least Dangerous Golf was a bit more of an interesting saying. This is something we had before. Like, if you can play Burnout 3, play Burnout 3 over this. If you only get this. And maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to rank this for someone who's never played Burnout 3 before. Maybe it's fine. But for me, I'm just, I'm like, where's... I kind of want to blare the Burnout 3 soundtrack and stuff. Oh god, I just realized I didn't watch the thing. Hang on, I'm going to crash through these cars and see what happens. We're going to go there. No, it stopped me. Here's one more. Thanks. Must get Smash Breakers. Do -do 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 -do. Guess the car's coming that way. And then that way. Oh, hit me there. I'll piss. No! Oh, there's a secret bit down there. Simulation terminated, no points. It's less fun! I don't know if this is they've had two attempts at making, like, the, capturing the magic and they didn't. You know what's weird is they did it differently in Burnout Paradise and did it, in it like, because Burnout Paradise's crash mode is just totally different. It's just weird. Like, yeah, you kind of at any point while driving just can start this big crash mode that just flings you off in outer space. And it was amazing fun and it was totally different. But it still felt like a Burnout crash mode. I can barely see through the fog. Oh, that's useless. Let's retry that one. 
Like, like when they did it differently, they did it better than when they tried to do it the same. Well, I mean, I, they've had crash mode in other games. I think Revenge had it as well, which is Burnout 4. And they did it. That was fine. Because it was, again, it was outside. It had music. It had all these other things going for it. Revenge is one of those games that's not very talk, talked about very much. I completely fucked that up. I don't know what I was doing. Down there's some trucks. We've got to try and remember to go down there and get those trucks at the end for bonus points. Maybe there's secret bits around all the levels. Maybe there's not. Maybe there's secret platinum medals. There's probably secret platinum medals. Probably don't have a secret. I'm not even paying attention to the medals like it because I don't give a shit because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. It's not tying into a greater game experience. This is why I've never given a fuck about achievements. I don't give a fuck about achievements. In the same way, I don't give a shit about things. It's just because they're meaningless. All oh, my numbers bigger. It's not getting me anything. It's not adding to my gameplay. It was down there, wasn't it? Oh god, I'm hoping. Because I can't look up and down! No, it's actually over there. Come on, let's do this. Finish this video. I'll get through it. I've seen a lot of praise for this game. And I really don't understand it. Because it's got a lot of... Unless it's like pure nostalgia of, oh, I remember this thing. I play Burnout quite regularly. I have a PS2 set up. I, I, I'll be perfect, guys. I play a fuck ton of Burnout. I play a fuck ton of Burnout, and I play an absolute fuck ton of SSX. They're my two fuck ton games. No, gonna lose. Yeah, you're gonna lose. You can't pause and restart doing this whole thing. There we go. Yeah, I, I play them a lot because they're great games, and they're games that I still play. It's not like a thing where I'm like, oh, I remember back in the day. No, I actively play this because there's no better racing game than. Like Burnout 3. It just it's just stunning. It's just nothing comes fucking close. Thanks. Did that a bit early. I also feel like the folks on there's a big folks on Smash Breakers here that I don't really remember from the other one. Whoop. Over. Ow. No, oh, I'm not gonna get that one. And now I'm at the mercy of all the traffic that's coming at me. That could knock me off the level where I would just lose. Ow. Hello, oh, he's throwing some toilets at me. Hilarious. Oh, that's enough to finish the level. Is that the first time I've actually finished one of these levels? Or this level? Yeah, the money pickup gets you more money. Who cares? That one's a bit obvious. There's all this thing, like, there's all these charts and, well, you, we've graphed your stuff. I get a medal for that? I don't know. No. Don't know where it says you actually have to, is it on the, I'm guessing it'll be on the start screen. Gold, oh, there you go. 8 million, silver, bronze, 5 million, alright. That should be... Is that on the screen? There's a lot of screen furniture. There's a matter of wrecks. I don't give a shit. Money. Maybe that's important. Smash Break is the only really important one. Knowing you've got it or not. And the name of the level just sits there. It's taking up space. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Come on, hit me. Thank you. No. And I lose. I mean, yeah, literally, people have been giving this game quite high reviews. And this should be my thing as well. This is what's really bothering me. Like, what am I missing? Like, if there's a button, it's like, oh, actually, if you press this button, it becomes outside. And actually, you know, yellow cards start playing and everything becomes wonderful again. Yep. I just feel like it's explosions for the sake of explosions. And nothing else. And kind of, Crash Mode always felt like a bit more than that. Yeah, like, you know, that's quite a nice little wreck thing. Smashing gun on over there. Good toilet skid, good toilet skid. Always hit a thing. Always lost his toilets. That felt like that could have been closer. There goes his toilets. There's a fence. No one near enough. Try again. Try again. All i got to do is ram them, bounce over there, explode and explode. I've got to jump. I really, I don't need to aim for the highest score. I just need to get through it all. Okay, here we go. Right, head first into whoever the fuck I don't like the most. It's you! Sorry. And Smash Breaker. Thank you. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Get it, lovely. And then that way, that way, that way. Smash Breakers are a little off as well. Sometimes you go fucking... Oh, fuck, I'm not going that way then. Yeah, sometimes you just sail and sail and sail and sail. With the force of a thousand atom bombs, and sometimes it's just like someone's come up to you and hit you with a baseball bat, and you go nowhere. Did it that time. Near a police car. Can't see a police car. Okay, well, that's that. Come on. Nothing's crashing. 
Also, it just holds on a little bit too long. All these men the menus aren't great either. I mean, this is okay, but the little the loady downy timey menus, that just feels quite cheap. The whole thing feels quite. I mean, it's a cheap game, but it's. <sighs> you did better than this before. Let's crash some more times. I'm really reading a negative Nancy today, but it's. Well, what's what's the point? I mean, this is a game that you can play. Yeah, it's the worst version that you can play on a system that you have. It's like the phone version of Burnout Crash. Yeah, you got to deal with touchscreen controls, but you can still play the fucking thing. I didn't watch the thing. I have no idea where anybody's coming from. They're all coming from over there. All right, I'm gonna go back here. Yeah. Grab a smash breaker. Okay, now fling myself into traffic. Quite a lot of traffic. There we go. Traffic. Hello. Yes. Boom. That way, and then the traffic around that way. I've got another one. Let's go with these guys. Just have to hit them to get bonusy points. Bam! Smash breaker hits times eight. They give you money. I don't know how much money. They give you some. Let's see inside that truck. I'm just waiting for something. Ooh, look like a big crash. And yeah, seeing a big crash on like a freeway was hilarious because you had like cars in cafes. You had cars like glued into windows and stuff. You had these massive explosions and death happening and it was wonderful. And yeah. I feel like taking it out of there has done so much damage to it. And I feel like they could have easily put it out there. I mean then they'd have to build a bit more of a, you know, a world. But tough. There's a junction that we'll have to skip past. Just start all the cars on and then the bigger junction at the end I'm assuming. Or just a fucking dead end and death. Oh no, it's still loading. It's just another jump down. So that's a bit more high. I'm a bit more happy with that. Collectible, collectible, explosive. Cars going that way. Yeah, shit ton of uh, things to explode with. Of course, maybe it's a slow burner kind of one. I don't know, it's a puzzle game. We've got to work out as we go. Vroom! There's a point there's only one car as well. I mean, fucking lobbing a school bus into all this shit. That was great fun. The shit that you want. Okay, ready? Who am I? I'm unconscious man. Oh, that way. I'm no man, actually. Exactly the same as in Burnout. There's no uh, player model in the car. Oop. Go. Go. Smash breaker. Smash breaker. It's in there somewhere. Oh, I can't get to it. So all those guys are just going to pass around safely. Actually, normally they just end up crashing a little bit for some reason. Yep. I've got to wait for it to end, even though nothing's happening. There we go. Because I don't know when you've stopped and what is going to hit the levels. So you just got to wait. I miss DJ Striker. He was cool. Did I get anything for that? No. I didn't check what I have to get. It should be there on the screen. It should be there on the screen because then you know what you're going for. 16, 14, 12. It should be there on the screen with like a. Just above the score. If you want to have stuff on the screen, don't give me the name of the level. Who gives a toss? Have, you know, bling! Gotta get this much! And I'm like, fuck, I gotta get that much! That's what you want. Right, I'm gonna drive through these really fast. And hope they don't hear me. It was wrong! <laughs> Whee! Alright, gotta go back a little bit. Where's that other smash breaker? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna now try and leave. Excuse me! Coming through! No, nope, here, boss. Stop. Game over. Oh. oh no, it's been a crash! Hooray! Not set that off, but yay! Points! That was nowhere near what I needed to get. Oh, sometimes the retry button doesn't work as well. The retry button sort of gets stuck. You push it and it doesn't actually do anything, and the next time it boots up, it goes 3, 2, 1, go, it'll immediately restart. It sort of like puts it in the memory and then doesn't actually do shit all with it. That's nice. I'm gonna go this way. Oh no, I've spun off. Sorry, I forgot I tried to turn in this game. <sighs> literally, Mike. Literally, a game built around things that I love. Massive car crashes and explosions. Don't do shit for me. Hundred thousand. We. Hundred thousand. We. Mine. Ow. Crash breaker! Smash breaker! 
Whatever. Nice. All right. Good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now we sit here and wait. Smash Breaker. Oh, fuck. I got a little bit too much height on that one. And then Smash Breaker. Should do the damage there. Don't know where the next one is because I can't see shit. There it is. Here. Yeah. Smash Breaker. That's how we travel. We used to get the after touch in Burnout 3. That was fucking amazing. Have a crash and then, ah, just go and crash into someone. That was the shit right there. And then, yeah, fuck all you guys over here. Sweet. That'll do. Lucky nobody was hurt. Hooray. I got 100 wrecks. Look at that. And 17 bajillion points. Thud. Please, little <laughs> police car just crashes. Stay back. Prison bus. Look at all these vehicles that I could easily drive in that I can't because there's only one car in the fucking thing. Oh, I thought I picked up that smash breaker. Yeah, well. Guess I didn't. And yeah, I got a thousand million points. I got a gold medal and I've unlocked just another simulation. Because they're simulations now. There are only uh, three little sets of them as well. There's crash set, there's crash mode, there's a training mode, there's test phase one, of which we uh, just did that one. So we've done all, you've seen all of, you've basically seen a third of the game. I'm assuming there's not any extras in two or three. So that was a third of the game. And it's just, it's just that. It's just a, well, let's be perfectly honest, a car crash. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube!